Welcome back. Today we're diving deep, quite literally, to explore the insane size of underwater mega projects. Ever wondered what colossal structures lie hidden beneath the ocean's surface, dwarfing even the mightiest skyscrapers? Our mission today is to unravel their immense scale, add the mind-bending challenges faced by those who dare to build beneath the waves. From towering oil rigs that rival the Empire State Building to subsea drilling operations reaching depths that would leave you breathless, it's all here. So fasten your seatbelts because we're about to plunge into the deep and discover the extraordinary world of underwater mega projects. Oil rigs, engineering marvels beneath the waves. When it comes to conquering the ocean's depths, there's one industry that stands out, offshore drilling for oil. It's the lifeblood of our energy-hungry world, with global oil demand soaring past a staggering 100 million barrels daily. To meet this insatiable appetite, engineers have set their sights on the sea, where they've crafted colossal structures that are nothing short of engineering marvels. Now let's journey back in time to the late 19th century when the first offshore platforms came into existence. They were like humble beginnings, placed in relatively shallow waters, less than 100 meters deep. Fast forward to today and these platforms have evolved into towering structures that could give the world's tallest skyscrapers a run for their money. Imagine Shell's Prospect Cognac in 1977, an oil platform that soared higher than the iconic Empire State Building, and then King Shell's Bullwinkle Platform in 1988, a colossal giant that reached a staggering height of 529 meters, almost matching New York's One World Trade Center. Not to be outdone, Chevron's Petronius Compliant Tower, which once held the record for the world's tallest structure, showcased the audacity of engineering in the year 2000. These platforms operate in depths that would make you think twice about venturing near the water's edge. But wait, there's more. Modern floating oil platforms can plunge to depths of up to 2,900 meters. Just think about the incredible engineering and technology required to operate in such challenging underwater environments construction of oil rigs, moving giants. Now that we've marveled at the sheer scale of these offshore oil rigs, it's time to unveil the incredible story of how these giants are moved from the drawing board to their oceanic homes. It's a journey that involves epic logistics, precision engineering, and a dash of audacity. Our story begins with the construction location of one of these colossal marvels, Bullwinkle. Its 400-meter-long base was born in Texas on solid land. This initial fabrication step is crucial, where the various components of the oil rig are meticulously crafted. But here's where it gets truly mind-boggling. Transporting something as immense as Bullwinkle to its final oceanic destination is a logistical puzzle that engineers have mastered. Picture this. They needed to load it onto a barge, which was built in parallel with the jacket. That's the underwater support structure of the rig. And to do this, they even had to divert traffic on the Gulf Intracoastal Waterway, no small feat. The loading process itself took a whopping five days, emphasizing the painstaking care and time required to move such gargantuan structures. Once on board, an additional three days were needed to reach the platform's final destination, directly above an oil well. Imagine the precision demanded in this operation. But we're not done yet. Bullwinkle's exceptional size is further underlined by the fact that it was the largest structure ever moved at that time. To submerge it in the water, they tilted the barge 2.5 degrees, then, with the finesse of underwater budget, engineers anchored the platform to the seabed using remote controls and underwater cameras. This process is a testament to the technical intricacy involved in positioning these platforms with pinpoint accuracy. And here's an interesting tidbit. Bullwinkle's deck was constructed separately in Louisiana, highlighting a modular construction approach that further adds to the complexity of these projects. By the time the Bullwinkle project was completed, it had taken over five years and cost a staggering $500 million at that time. This cost and time investment underscore the magnitude of the undertaking, making it clear that constructing underwater mega projects is a monumental task in every sense of the word. Subsea oil drilling delving into the abyss. Now let's switch gears and plunge into the mesmerizing world of subsea oil drilling, where the challenges are as deep as the ocean itself. Picture this. Some oil wells lie a staggering three kilometers below the ocean's surface. That's right, we're diving to extreme depths to tap into the Earth's hidden treasures. To conquer these abyssal depths, engineers rely on floating oil rigs equipped with advanced positioning systems that ensure they stay directly above the oil wells. 
One remarkable example of this technology is the Pedido, a joint operation by Shell, Chevron, and BP. It's a marvel that operates at over 2.5 kilometers below the surface, using a towering 170-meter spar, a type of buoy, to stay afloat. But Pedido is just the tip of the iceberg. Consider the Stones project, which can extract oil from reservoirs as deep as a jaw-dropping 8,000 meters below the ocean surface. That's nearly the height of Mount Everest, but underwater. Underwater tunnels define the depths. Now let's venture into another realm of underwater engineering, the construction of underwater tunnels. It's a world filled with historical challenges and groundbreaking innovations that have reshaped the way we connect land masses beneath the waves. Our journey begins in the 19th century when early attempts to construct underwater tunnels were met with setbacks. These early efforts used techniques similar to mining but faced difficulties due to soft ground and flooding. However, these challenges laid the foundation for future advancements. One such breakthrough was the Thames Tunnel, completed in 1843 with the assistance of a newly invented tunneling shield. This marked a pivotal moment in underwater tunnel construction, showcasing the power of technological innovations and in overcoming obstacles. Fast forward to the modern era where tunnel boring machines, TBMs, have revolutionized tunnel construction. These colossal machines enable projects on a much larger scale, pushing the boundaries of what's achievable beneath the ocean's surface. A prime example of this progress is the Channel Tunnel, a monumental engineering feat that connects Britain to France. Spanning 50 kilometers in length, it boasts the longest underwater segment globally. The construction process of the Channel Tunnel involved a fleet of 11 gigantic tunnel boring machines, each working tirelessly to cut through the chalk and reinforce the tunnel sides with concrete to withstand the pressures of the waves. Despite cost overruns, the Channel Tunnel has proven its worth by facilitating over $120 million of trade between the UK and Europe each year. It's a testament to human innovation and the determination to overcome the challenges of building beneath the sea. Underwater bridge construction, building beneath the surface. Shifting our focus, let's dive into a world that challenges our conventional understanding of bridges, underwater bridge construction. It's a domain where engineering prowess meets the depths of the ocean and bridges become hidden marvels beneath the surface. First, let's challenge a common misconception that bridges aren't often considered underwater structures, but in reality, they play a significant role in connecting landmasses separated by water, and their construction is a unique engineering endeavor. In this field, various methods come into play for building the piers that support these deep water bridges. One such method is Kesson's, concrete structures constructed on land and then gently lowered into the water. The catch? They need to maintain a dry environment inside during construction, a delicate dance with water pressure. Another technique is cofferdams, which are like large walled pits with water surrounding them. These are employed to pump out water and create a safe construction space, removed once the job is done. It's a way to tame the aquatic environment temporarily. The most effective method, however, is driven piles, which involves massive steel columns driven into the rock using powerful machines. Think of it as akin to hammering a nail into a surface, but on a colossal scale. One remarkable example of underwater bridge construction is the Padma Bridge in Bangladesh. This project used the driven piles technique to drive steel piles to a depth of 127 meters. Imagine sinking a skyscraper underwater. The challenges posed by rapid water flow during its construction highlight the adaptability and problem-solving skills required in underwater bridge projects. The Padma Bridge isn't just an engineering marvel, it's an economic boon. It reduces travel times, enhances connectivity, and contributes to increased GDP for the country. It's a testament to the transformative power of underwater bridge construction. As we wrap up our incredible journey through the world of underwater mega projects, we've been privy to the awe-inspiring stories of these hidden giants beneath the waves. From towering oil rigs that defy the imagination to subsea drilling operations reaching unfathomable depths, and the engineering marvels of underwater tunnels and bridges, it's clear that humans have conquered the depths of the ocean in ways we could only dream of. If you've enjoyed this deep dive into the world of underwater mega projects, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more captivating journeys through the marvels of our world. Your support keeps us exploring.